Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now in this video, this is part two. The other day, like yesterday, I did part one. And now today I'll be doing part two, which is parkour. And remember, I'm going to be going over the next videos in the next few days of what you can do with snow your snow. Now this is the parkour section. We went over redstone, now we're going to do parkour. And these are three things that you could probably do with parkour now with Snow Your Snow because it opens up so many new possibilities. I absolutely love this block. But let's get right into it. Let's say you have a parkour trail like this one, okay? And you want to do some really cool jumps. And as you can see, my parkour skills are so good. But let's say that I mess up like that, for example. You can have the ground as Snow Your Snow. And if you fall down... Well, then you're trapped in it, and of course, I'm assuming you might be in survival mode, and then whoever falls basically lost the game, and that's really cool. Another thing you could do, and this is the second thing on the list, that you can have as snow pillars, and as you can see, that was a purposely mistaked jump, because I wanted to show how amazing this floor was, but um, as you can see, you can add fake pillars, so if you have regular snow and powdered snow, sometimes if you're trying to do a quick paced game, it can be hard to determine which one's real and which one's not, so let's say I'm jumping around like this, and oops, I jumped on the wrong one, and now you still fall in, so I think that's a great idea, it looks like it's pillars, and you can clearly see them, and they're so close to regular snow, but they're actually not real pillars you can stand on. Assuming that you won't use leather boots, because of course, that can be used to stand on these things. And that actually comes into the third one, which you can see out back there. So, let me get these snowier boots on. And yeah, so the last one is going to be so cool. Let me guys show you that. Okay guys, so for this third and final one, it's definitely the hardest one to execute, it is this one. So if you remember in my last video, if you have leather boots on, you can go up and down this thing like scaffolding, but you still freeze and take damage in survival, and you still walk uh, really slowly once you're inside. So if you just go against the edge, you don't walk slowly, but you still freeze, and this allows for some really cool like speed parkour. So you have to get to the next section fast. And then you have to go again, and I can't believe I made two four-block jumps in Snow Your Snow that first try. That is amazing. And if you don't do it fast enough, you start taking damage, and that's, like, not good. You don't want to take damage in parkour, especially if, you, if it affects you negatively. And that is three different types of Snow Your Snow parkour. You can have uh, traps where if you miss a jump, you fall into Snow Your Snow, or some pillars might be fake, or... As I showed for the last one, really hard to execute fast, you have to speed run, and the snow, your snow slows you down, and you have to wear leather boots, parkour through it, in really difficult jumps. That is very hard, and I'm so happy I did that first try in that clip. So, that is it for this video. If you guys want to see the next ones, please hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell when you want to be notified when more of these types of videos come out. But that's it from you guys today. Goodbye, and see you later.